Hello, Comets in the class of 2023. I am Mrs. Rendell, one of the school counselors here at Central Crossing High School. Joining me in today's presentation will be my fellow school counselor, Mrs. Fairs. Today you will begin part one of your scheduling for next school year. Next week, I will visit you in your English class to continue this very important process. Please use this time today to begin working on your course selections, and I will see you all next week. Graduation requirements for students in the class of 2023 and beyond are as follows. Course credit requirements. All students are required to obtain 21 total credits. Demonstration of competency. Students must earn a passing score on the Ohio's Algebra 1 and English 2 end of course test. Demonstration of readiness. Students will need to earn two of the Ohio Readiness Diploma seals. I will now review with you the specific 21 credits that you need for graduation. You need four credits of English, four credits of math, including Algebra 2. You need three credits of science, a physical science, a biological science, and then one advanced science. You need three credits of social studies, including modern world history, American history, government, which is typically a half a credit, and then a social studies elective to complete your three credits. You need a half a credit of health, a half a credit of physical education, or you can earn two PE waivers within the same activity type. Specifically, this is if you did two years of band, two years of naval science, or completed two full seasons of a sport. You need one credit of a fine art, and then five credits of electives or you need five and a half credits of electives if you are using the PE waiver. These electives can be anything I did not specify above or any overflow in any of the categories. For example, foreign language, career tech, family consumer science courses, or let's say you did band all four years, that first year of band would be a fine art. Your other three band credits would be overflow and count as elective credits. All of this will equal your 21 credits for graduation. Students can be enrolled in College Credit Plus, also known as CCP, in a variety of ways. One way is through dual enrollment. These courses are taken in your home high school in a traditional classroom setting. A second way is by taking classes on a college campus or online. A third way is through our Accelerated Learning Center, which is located here at Central Crossing High School. There are upcoming College Credit Plus virtual question and answer meetings that you may attend with your family to learn more about the College Credit Plus process and to have your questions answered. Those sessions can be found on our school website at cchs.swcsd.us or on this slide. There are important upcoming College Credit Plus dates. February 22nd is the deadline to complete the interest survey, which you can find on the CCH website or in your cohort Google Classroom. April 1st is the deadline for your intent to participate form. And April 16th is the deadline for the Accelerated Learning Center if you want to apply for that special program. You can find additional steps and dates on the school website at cchs.swcsd.us slash College Credit Plus. As a 10th grader in Southwestern City Schools, you have the opportunity to apply to a two-year career technical program. These programs listed on the screen are at the Southwestern Career Academy. This week, representatives from the Southwestern Career Academy will be visiting Central Crossing to help you learn more. There are also several virtual visits and even a family information night you can attend. This information is currently posted in your cohort Google Classroom. If you want to learn more about these programs or apply, you can visit the website below at swcsdcareertech.com. Applications are due by Friday, February 19, 2021.
Today you received your course selection sheet. Please do not lose this sheet as it will be very important for this course selection process the next several weeks. Be sure you read the details at the top of the sheet. Things to keep in mind are classes that meet zero period, courses that require special permission, and any other additional important information we would like you to know about scheduling this school year. If you have questions about classes, please check out the course description book. You can find that link here in this presentation that will be posted in your Google Classroom later today. You can also think about your choices now before we visit you next week. We want you to have time to really think about what you want to take and how you want your schedule to look next school year. Everyone will be assigned a lunch, and it is important that everyone fill an eight class period day, including lunch. If you are requesting lockout, also known as parent dismiss, you must make that request now. Counselors will work over the next several months to get your schedule ready for next school year, so we need your requests to be what you are wanting so that we can meet them the best we can. On the back of your course selection sheet, you will plan your schedule for next school year. Please keep in mind, by Friday, February 19th, you will need to enter these course requests into Infinite Campus. School counselors will be in your classrooms next week to help with this process. You must have five classes each semester, not including study hall, lunch, and physical education. Depending on enrollment numbers, not all courses on this form may be offered. Also, before the end of the school year, you will have the opportunity to verify your courses and make any changes. For my schedule, I will talk to my teachers to get their course recommendations and write my request on each line. For English, for example, I may write 030 English 3. My math teacher may have recommended me for 1045 Algebra 2. The third space, there's nothing to record as that is reserved for my lunch to be scheduled. In the fourth space, I'm going to write Business Law, which is a semester course, and then write another course in semester length, such as Personal Financial Management. In my fifth space, I've recorded a year-long science course called Earth Science. In my sixth space, I'm recording Sociology and American Government, both semester in length and both meeting graduation requirements for Social Studies. In my seventh space, I'm writing Spanish 2. And in my eighth and final space, I am choosing to write Parent Dismiss for eighth period. If I request any lockout, I want to be sure to use the correct code and also list the periods I am requesting lockout for. At the bottom is a section for alternative electives. In case your choices for your other periods do not correctly fit in your schedule, it is important that you fill in this section. If you do not fill in this section, your school counselor will choose your alternatives for you. These may not be classes you are interested in and changes will be very limited. For example, my alternative electives are Business and Marketing Basics, Advanced Fitness, and Principles of Food. I will write those selections at the bottom and my counselor will do their best to fill my request from the top, but in case something doesn't work, these are alternatives that I am interested in. Please keep in mind that this schedule sheet will need to be turned in and put into Infinite Campus so that your requests can be looked at. Counselors will be in classrooms next week to help you with this process. Let's take a moment to review important scheduling dates. Friday, February 19th is the last day to request courses in Infinite Campus. After that time, you will no longer have access in Infinite Campus to request courses. Teachers will then go in and add their recommendations. If you do not select classes in Infinite Campus or fill your eight period day, please remember your school counselor will then choose for you and there will be limited access to changes. 
Before the end of the year, you will receive a course verification form that will list the courses that are scheduled for you. At that time, you will have one last chance to make changes to those requests. And now for your school counselors. I am Mrs. Fairs. I have the students' last names A through D. Mrs. Rendell has the students' last names E through LE. Mrs. Russell has the students' last names LI through RI. Mrs. Shu has the last names RO through Z.